Hey, GFFs, Growing Forward friends. I'm Paul Casey of Growing Forward Services, here to help you while you are teleworking because there are so many distractions. And so what I've done is I've put together a little program here. We are in day five of that, and it is called Time Management When No One Is Watching. That's right. There's no accountability right now because you could be like, oh, I'm going to slack a little bit because no one could see me. It's like, no, because excellence, of course, is one of your core values. Right. And we've talked about that in day one. So you want to make sure that you've got some habits in place to keep yourself accountable during this time. So just a quick review, manage your time around your values and your vision. Then you're going to pick your big three priorities for tomorrow while you're still in today. Then you're going to make sure you do those as early in the day as possible to defeat procrastination. And then yesterday we talked about blocking time or making appointments with yourself, taking those to-do list tasks, sticking them in your calendar as if it's a meeting with another person and then obeying your calendar and doing it at that moment instead of dismissing or snoozing it. You're going to actually do it. So we are on day five and day five commitment of an effective time manager is this. I will finish one task before starting another and try not to multitask. Okay. Multitasking bad. Okay. First of all, your brain is either in one place or it's in another. It is never in the same place at the same time. Well, I guess 2% of the population, it's been shown, are good multitaskers. You may be in those 2%, but odds are you're not. And so when you try to do two things at once, well, the ancient proverb says, if you try to ch chase two hares or rabbits, you'll catch neither of them. I like to say multitasking is screwing up two things at once. And that's, that's a bad thing, right? So we want to make sure we finish one task before we start another. I know this one sounds like a duh, but how many tabs do you have open on your computer right now, right? Are they, so, there are so many tabs open that you can only see like one little dot or one little letter. Why do we do this? We do this because it's like, well, I'm going to come back to that later and I'm going to finish that. And then our computer reboots and we're like, ah, shoot, I forget. To, I forgot to bookmark that and you lost your place anyways. So wouldn't it be better to just finish that task at the end of the hour and get it done so you can close that tab? Get that project as done as you can get it. Now, I know sometimes you have to wait on somebody else to get a piece of the task done, but as far as is in your power, you're going to make sure you finish one task before you do another. You're like, well, Paul, I believe in multitasking. I think everybody, a good employee should be able to multitask. We may be talking about different things. Multitasking, though, maybe the way you're thinking is being able to keep a whole bunch of projects on your radar so that none of them falls off the radar. Totally get that. Totally believe in that. And a good leader should be able to do that. What I'm talking about is in the moment, I'm going to watch a webinar and work on my budget. No, you're either going to be in the webinar or your brain's going to be in the budget at any given moment. So you might as well just decide I'm going to do one or I'm going to do the other. And that's going to make you way more productive. Otherwise, it's going to double the time it takes when you think you're actually saving time. All right. So I would love to give you all of these just in case you've missed one of these 12 habits or commitments of effective time managers. I've got a quick one pager. Love to send you. All you got to do is go to the email on the screen growing forward at paulcasey.org. And I would be happy to send that to you. You're going to get in my, my list for target practice, which is going to give you other great gems of self leadership tips to help you be an effective time manager and just a better leader of yourself and of others. One other free gift I'd like to give you, and that is my Control My Calendar Checklist. It's developed just for you if you want to get a kickstart on your time management. What you do is you pick up your phone, 72000, and text the word GROWING. And what I'll do, I'll have you accept that. And then you're going to get this free tool that's going to help you be a rock star when it comes to time management. We'll see you tomorrow for day six. And in the meantime, KGF, keep growing forward.